So $1.5 million settlement for a man who was tased in the mouth by pigs. Deputies had stopped Nate Espinoza for a traffic violation in Trinidad along the New Mexico border. His father, who was driving separately, pulled over to see what was happening, and then things escalated quickly. Here's 9 News crime and justice reporter Matt Chablo. Get in the no. To watch my father almost lose his life to these men, time stop. Get out the car. Five months later, Nate Espinoza says he still remembers every terrifying moment. But man, yeah, zero to 100 fast, dude. It's, it was so crazy. What's up? It was November 29th of last year. Nate was pulled over on Main Street in Trinidad for driving too close to Los Animas County Sheriff's Deputy Mikhail Noel. Do you need to be behind this traffic stop? Yeah, I do. Why? It's my son right there. At the time, Nate was following his father, Ken, to have Ken's truck repaired. When Ken saw that his son had been pulled over, he stopped on the side of the road a few feet away, where he was approached by Lieutenant Henry Trujillo. You need to leave now or you're going to get charged. It's that easy. Lieutenant Trujillo ordered Espinoza to leave the scene. You got five seconds to leave. Which Espinoza's lawyer says was an unjustified command. He was doing absolutely nothing wrong. Deputy Noel then gave Espinoza the same command. But when Espinoza tried driving away, Noel told him to stay, then drew his gun and ordered Espinoza to get out of his car. At that point, Espinoza was placed in handcuffs, and as they put Espinoza in a patrol car, Trujillo and Noel tasered Espinoza numerous times, including once in the face, according to Espinoza's lawyer. He has what look like snake bites all over this side of his body. He's got one on his leg that you can see. The deputies then dragged Espinoza out of the patrol car, tossed him to the ground, and searched him before putting him back in the car. He has nightmares just as I do. At a press conference on Tuesday announcing a federal lawsuit against the Los Animas County Sheriff's Department. What do they have, seven officers, and two of them are acting like felons? Nate Espinoza said he's hoping the deputies involved are finally held accountable. It just wasn't right. I just, ha I asked for justice, man, you know? That's something that'll stick with me probably the rest of my life. The Los Animas County Sheriff's Department did not comment on the lawsuit. They did say that both Lieutenant Trujillo and Deputy Noel have now been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of an internal affairs investigation. According to Ken Espinoza's lawyer, 12 days before the incident in November, the Sheriff's Department settled another excessive force lawsuit against the same two deputies. Tom. I think for many people watching police work these days, as the body cameras continue to show us these things, do the internal affairs investigations line up with what we see, the external part of these arrests? No, let me jump in real quick. The answer is no. Internal affairs is cops investigating cops. They worked with that cop 10 years ago. They were friends with that cop's brother. When they go to the cookout, he's got a crush on that cop's sister. It's cops investigating cops. The Mullen Commission, the Wickersham Commission, the Seabury Commission, and the Knapp Commission all teach us that internal affairs is a total joke. So he parked on the road, but Teshlines versus Danforth, I'd be willing to go to jail for it. I can park here to film you because it's a matter of public interest to film you as you have my son pulled over. It's in your trifold, Teshlines versus Danforth. Put a one in the chat if you have a trifold, because if you do, it says right here, you can't park here. Well, it says right there, Teshlines versus Danforth, 1933, constitutionally, my right to stop is inherent in my right to travel. Your state statute or ordinance is unconstitutional. I stopped here to conduct my legitimate business affairs. Fact, travel is also the right to stop along the way for a purpose. So now we're going to get into this and <sighs> try not to get upset when you watch this. We're going to try to get him in here if he acts like a fucking idiot. He's going in the chair. No, just come on. That's what will be banned when I am governor. There will no longer be a torture chair where you can torture people and say it's in the name of keeping order. I will create a plastic bubble that you can go in. You can jump on your head upside down, but it's going to have a two-foot cushion, so you can't even kill yourself. You can run into the plastic. You can, sp you can puke. You can spit. You can do whatever you want. A plastic bubble for people who are completely out of control so they can't hurt themselves. If they hurt themselves in the plastic bubble, you know what? That's on them. But the idea of the chair inside of dungeons is so brutal. It's executioner stuff from the 13th century is what it is. All right, get out. Can you give me a few minutes? No, get out. It's seconds, man. I can't move. I can't move, man. Yeah. 
Jeez. Right over here, the open door. Have a seat on the bench inside. I'm going to tell you right now, if you continue to act like a jackass, sit down. You're going in the chair. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? I understand. You're going to cooperate. You're going to do what you're told, because if not, you're going to go in the chair. Okay? Yeah. Any part of that you don't get? No, sir. <clears throat> Man's gonna come and check him out because he got tased, so that's kind of what we're waiting on right now. So we'll let them come and look at him here, and then we'll go from there. Of course, he's playing with the torture cuffs because he enjoys torturing people. You can come and talk to him Monday through Friday. When you get out of jail, he's up front. Under Sheriff Santa Stephen is my supervisor's name. You can come and talk to him then. So why do you think he says who his supervisor is? Because he knows that absolutely nothing is going to happen to him, that he can treat people this way and nothing will happen to him. Nothing. It's not being mean. I'm telling you the way it is, okay? You had your chance, okay? You shut, up. shut up and listen, okay? It's not time for you to talk. It's time for you to listen. Because I'm done with your bullshit, okay? This could have all been prevented, okay? Simple. I roll up to see who the hell is parked behind my deputy because I don't know who it is, and you start acting like a dickhead, okay? No, bullshit. Number one, you roll up your window when I'm walking up to it, therefore I have to knock on your window to get your... Oh, you don't know who I am? I didn't have your lights on. Are you stupid? Does this fucking costume I'm not wearing tell you who I am? I can not see it. Bullshit. The costume, exactly correct. Jack Boot Thug Pig. Put in the comment section, JBTP. You look right at me and hold your window up. I did. I, did. I rolled my all window. Yeah, recorded. I my window up. All recorded. Okay? I, I say what you want. No. Anything no. you can say will be used no. against you in court. I know. Keep talking. I'm not saying that. I was bringing my pickup to court because it doesn't stop. He told me to leave. When I push my brakes, my truck does not stop. I have to. So you're driving an unsafe vehicle? I was bringing it to court. So you're driving an unsafe vehicle is what you're trying it's to do. You're saying it don't hold, stop. When you're holding the brakes, it won't stay unless I put it in neutral. Notice he didn't punch it. He was backing up as he was told. Then he put it in neutral to put the brakes on. Within five or six feet of him trying to stop, they pointed their guns at his head. Said, get out of the car! Get out of the car! And they tried to break his arm. Do you know what stop means? Yes, sir. Does that mean drive your truck? Don't call that pig, sir, at this point. F him. Let me ask you a question, okay? Does stop, stop mean, does stop mean put your truck in gear and try to drive away? No, he told me to drive away. You just said he told you to stop. He told me to drive away, and then you were yelling, no, no, stop him, stop him, stop him. So he started pounding on the hood of my pickup. Okay, so basically so you were I, doing what you I, wanted I, I to do, right? Just like you've done this whole no, time, to okay? To you were told to leave from the traffic stop. Your son is old enough to drive a vehicle. He's old enough to be pulled over, right? Well, you I, remember what well, you I said? I that you that. don't like us pulling him over for no reason? What? You have no goddamn idea why he was pulled over, do you? No, you don't. So shut up about it now. Because I'm tired of listening to you, all right? You're done talking because I don't give a shit what you have to say anymore. Okay. Zero. I can't understand your man. They're going to come and take a look at you, so just shut up and talk to them. Hi. What happened? He shot me in the face with my handcuffs on. Okay. He got tased. He didn't get shot. Okay. So there's a difference between being shot and being tased. What kind of uh, tase was it? Was it dry tase or did you have No, it was the prongs? deployed prongs, yep. Since he was flopping around like an idiot and being uncooperative, one happened to hit him in the lip. Okay. Uh, no, you he said he shot the street. No, I pulled him out. Okay. It's all Okay, so our guideline says we have to take you in to go take, uh, get evaluated now. So. That's fine. I'm cooperative. I mean, it's. It, they're making it bigger than what it is. I mean, it, it is what it is. I have okay. no sense of saying anything. But. Here's the worst part of this pig agency that there's no third party to come in and say, I'll take him. There's no third party to come in and say, he's accusing you of abusing him. You shot him in the face with a taser. Now. Do you want to go to the hospital to get checked out? Yeah. Okay. I'll take him. Okay. 
Um, you want to take his stuff inside? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't stand up. Right. Yeah, I'll take him. I don't care what you want. Let's go. I want another transport. Stand up. Come on. It's not Burger King, pal. You don't get what you want. Over here. Settle down. Have a seat. God damn, my pants are falling down. I'm trying to fuck it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's as far as I can. I'll be back. Now, we don't get to see the ride to the hospital, so someone needs to FOIA that body cam footage. The Fifth Amendment cop card is the only card you need in your wallet when you see a JBTP. Remember, cops are not your friend. If you're walking down the road and a cop interacts with you, the moment you see the cop, you get the yellow card in your hand. You have to have a pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards in your wallet at all times. If you carry your credit cards in your phone, it's the exact same size as your visa, as your driver's license. The number one defense that you have against these JBTPs is your camera and the Fifth Amendment cop card. Thanks. My name is Chili Castro, and I am Delete Laws.